Emma, we're here for uh, the release of uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix DVD. Yes. So, have you seen the DVD? What are your favorite bonus features? And... Gosh, um, I thought the DVD was really great this year, actually. It's um, Nat Tanner, who plays Tonks, gives you like a tour of Leafy yeah. Studios, which is where all of the, the films have been um, filmed. So you get a chance to look around all the different sets and um, talk to all the different people who work on it, mm-hmm. and you're just basically given kind of like a day in the life of, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, you see her in the morning until last thing at night. And um, it's really funny, actually. It's really, really cool. And um, But my favourite thing was the fact that you're given a chance to kind of, like, play around with editing and, like, get your chance to kind of um, put together your own scene from Harry Potter Mm -hmm. and see how different music and different sound can change a scene. And you're kind of, like, given a chance to be director for a day, which is I think is such a cool feature. Like, I've never heard of anyone doing that before. So, um... I think fans will find that really interesting, if they're interested in the filmmaking process anyway. So, What was your favourite scene in the movie itself, the one that made it into the theatres? Oh, the version. It's so hard. People ask me the question. There's so many things I like. But probably the Ministry of Magic scene, just yeah. because I just love the set, and I love the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort, yeah. and the rebellion like where Dumbledore's army come and yeah. fight the Death Eaters and I don't know I just thought it was really well done and really exciting and a really good climax to the film we brought up Dumbledore we're sitting here in his office yes <laughs> and it was during the sort of script reading of movie five mm-hmm. where J.K. Rowling apparently wrote some notes on the script saying you know you can't say that because Dumbledore is gay and so now we're finding out the big news Dumbledore is gay what was your first reaction Um, it's funny, I'd never thought about it before, but when she said it, it kind of made sense. Like, Like, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. Dumbledore's gay. (laughs) Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever. But, um, yeah, so (laughs) that was kind of my, my reaction to it, yeah. Now, of course, production has just begun on the sixth uh, film. Mm -hmm. What's a day like on the set for you? Gosh, manic. (laughs) There's always so many things going on, and you're rushing from one place to another, and, uh, learning lines, and I'm also trying to fit in my schoolwork in between the, yeah. the filming, so I'm kind of busy as well um, doing that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, long days, trying to fit in a lot, um, but it's fun. It's good fun. Can you share with us any secrets? I mean, there's a romantic angle. Everyone seems to be hooking up. Um. Um, <laughs> well, behind the scenes <laughs> or on camera. Uh, well, if, if memory serves, there's a lot of makeout sessions in book six. Yeah, <laughs> there really are. Like, Ron has his kiss with Lavender and yes. Harry kisses Jenny. So, yeah. yeah, there is quite a lot of that going on, actually. I think Har- like Dan is really pleased to uh, be giving... Rupert some stick about the kiss because <laughs> poor Dan had so much like teasing and just general like yeah there was so much like hype about that kiss so yeah it's <laughs> good so I was gonna ask you guys all of you have asked Rupert this already you guys grew up in the spotlight I mean you sort of grew up in show business but you've managed to stay so grounded and obviously haven't fallen off the rails so professional you're having your schoolwork how have you managed to avoid becoming like Britney um, gosh, well, I mean, Brittany, like, had so much fame from such, I don't know, she's, I don't know, I just don't feel the same, I, I don't know, I, I've kept going to school, and that's kind of kept me sane and normal, and I hang yeah. out with normal people, and I, I just haven't really got swept up into the whole thing. I think it's kind of different in England, maybe, mm-hmm. I don't really know, I, I don't know, I just, and my family as well, they just didn't really let me get like that and my friends like care about me so much they're really honest with me yeah like, if they think if they think something's going wrong or whatever then they'll tell me like I have a lot of honest people around me and I think that's really important and people I can trust and I don't know, I just I think I've been really lucky but I can totally relate and sympathize to like their situation people who like yeah. experience that <laughs> it's hard now, the seventh book has come out. I'm assuming you've read it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the horizon mm. is is mm. is out there. Were mm. you happy with how it ended? And are you sort of looking forward or getting sad about the fact that there's an end date now? Um, it was nice to know where, like, the ending. It was nice to know yeah. where it was all going. And it was really exciting. But I guess at the same time, it's like, wow, it really is going to come to an end. And... Yeah, it's kind of like the end of an era. It was really yeah. strange, like, and I, um, but I guess I'm still making the films, so it didn't feel over, over. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, it's good.